there once again welcome to my channel in today's story i'm going to show you how to create a very cool countdown countdown timer like this i'm going to show you how to create this step by step consider subscribing to this channel and you never regret it i'm going to have amazing tutorial that will help and change your life in the field of it i do tutorials basically it skills techniques programming graphic designing and other general it tricks tips and tricks as well so I'm going to show you how to do this step by step with no step skip in order to watch this video and then enjoy it up to the end just make sure you stay tuned and follow the steps I'm going to teach you this is basically starting from one four all the way to one and I'm going to show you how to start from five all the way to what one so let's see how we can create this step by step I'm going to start all the way from a blank new document or presentation so I'm going to use this slide in order to do that basically I'm going to delete I'm going to delete these text boxes first or delete these text boxes I'm going to start from here I'm going to change the background colors in order to do that I'll go to I'll right click and go to what format background and when you click on this it's going to give you this option this panel at the far right and we can see several options available we want to change the color so just select that and then change the color of the background so i'm cool with this up to this stage the next thing i'm going to do is to include my shapes i have some guide over here the guidelines is going to help me position my shape exactly in the middle if you want to get that just go to view and then select guides so over here and then to give you this amazing line we're going to include our shape and then we'll go to what insert in order to do that go to the insert tab and then under shapes we're going to use the oval shape select oval shape hold down shift whilst you drag across and then it's going to give you a very perfect shape just leave it as it is and then we're going to show you i'm going to show you how to align this so under range under shape format go to align and then go to center and then what middle select to and it's going to align this exactly in the middle of your slide we need a copy of this shape as well so Control d will give you a copy of this but we need to change the color of this so still at the far right that's the panel here change the color to something else we have this now and what we need to do is we have to resize this to fit in the middle of the first shape so we'll hold down shift in order to maintain your shape this way and i'll just reposition this you can go back and then use the alignment option center in the middle align i think i'm going to reduce it a bit yeah i'm okay with this and then i'm going to use the center and the middle align so i have this shape please exactly in the middle of my slide i'll select all together now and i'm going to animate this so go to animation and then we're going to select the wheel animation if you can see this just click on the more option you can see we have the wheel animation when you click on it it's going to give you something like this you can see this display just once and it stopped but we want to use five numbers so it's going to count all the way from five to what one consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video up to this stage like and share with friends and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video in order to make this repeat up to five we need to go to the animate pan here click on that and then under the shape over here we're going to make sure that this repeat five times so click on the over and we'll go to effect options click on that and it will give you this dialog box we'll go to timing and then under the duration we're going to change it to what a seconds faster and a repeat we're going to change the repeat to what five and we'll click on OK. You can see this is going to repeat what five times. Okay, so that is cool up to this stage. We're now going to include our numbers. So I'm going to go to insert and under shapes, I'm going to pick what a text box, draw my text box, and then enter my number. So within my text box, I'm going to what enter five. Okay. I'm going to change the color of the five to something that will be visible but i'm going to give a font type i'm going to give you area i'm going to give area and then my font size i'm going to give it 220 and i think this font size is okay and i'll just position it in the middle you can still use the alignment go to shape you can use the alignment option 
center and the what middle so have this exactly placed within the middle of this shape as we want this repeated from one from five all the way to one we need to get these numbers up to one so since i already have five i need to control d to duplicate this i'll bring it here and then i'll change it towards four i really need another copy control d again i'm going to change this one to what i'm going to change this one to three duplicate this again and i'm going to have this one change to what two and then lastly i'm going to duplicate this and then have it change to what one so we are okay up to this stage and then it's now time to animate our number so we first select this number we select the first number which is five here what we're going to do is that we're going to go back to our animation and then we're going to select what disappear we're going to make this disappear and we can see within the animation pan over here we can see the options available and at the timing we're going to change the start from what previous and then the duration we're going to change it to what one okay so once we are done we we'll select the same number again and we're going to add a second animation so go to add animation and this time around we're going to do what appear so within the appear we're going to change that duration we're going to start we're going to start it from previous but we're going to change this to what zero point zero one this way but we're going to move it on top of what our first animation which is the which is the disappear so i'll just drag it on top of this this way and i believe this one is set so we are done with the first one all we need to do is to do it for the rest so i'll select number four and go to what appear and i'm going to select what the start is going to be from the previous one which ended at one and we'll select again and go to what disappear we'll add the second one which is what disappear and the disappear we're going to select the previous one again but this time around we increase it to what two okay we'll repeat the same process for the rest we'll select number three we we'll select the number three go to appear and i start to select what previous and then we'll come down here we we'll add a new animation that will disappear we'll select previous again i will change it to what three so this one is supposed to be two so this is the number two we we'll select this select this again we we'll go to what appear we we'll select previous and then we'll come back again add a new animation that will disappear we we'll select previous again but we we'll change it to what four and then the last one which is number one we we'll add appearance I will select previous and then we we'll select again we we'll add a new animation which is what disappear and then we we'll select previous but we we'll increase it to what five so for animation we are done with that part and then all we need to do is to reposition them into our cycle so select this drag it on top of number four you can use the shape format option to align this neatly we just have to align this neatly select this as well position it position it change the alignment to center and then what middle come back to number two position this as well work on the alignment change it to center and then what middle the last one which is this will position that's number one we'll select it go towards center and what middle so we are done with our shapes and all we need to do now is to add the timer but we can play this and see how this is going to show so all we need to do is that so we'll go to you can just go to your shop your slideshow and then we can play our current what slide we'll click on this and when you click on it you can see this is counting from five all the way to what one as expected but we need to put our timer at the top so we go to insert go to shapes select it 
and then we can drag on top here and then we can type in count timer we can write countdown timer let's change the color to something that will appear better and then increase the font to something that will also show so i think 40 will be okay for now and let's go in this so this is what we want to do up to this stage and i believe everything is set we are done with this animation and if you enjoyed this video remember to like share and then also don't forget to turn on the notification bell if you are new remember to subscribe because i have so many amazing stuff coming up and you will never regret subscribing to this channel so this is our final work now and then we can go back to slideshow and then play our final work and see what we've done click on this and you can see five four three two and then one so this is how to create a simple animation using powerpoint i'm going to have a series of videos showing up here on this channel create amazing stuff for you and to use introduce so many techniques in it that maybe you've never heard of so stay tuned and stay glued to this channel till i come away again bye bye